Oh, Hector Molly. I mean, I've got no choice anymore. What's your name? Shelly. Shelly, where are you from? Bendigo. Bendigo, where are you from? Nagambi. Nagambi? That's not used to living in Nagambi. Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> all right. Where are you from? Brighton. Brighton. Where are you from? Bendigo. Bendigo. Now, listen, I'll tell you what, every time that I read in the papers, they say, you know, like, you know, like, shush, 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 shush. Like, but let, let, let's see what they ask. From Margaret. Hi, Garth, from Margaret. Right. While this is going on, we were in London and we happened to go into Abbey Road Studios and we happened to talk to Paul and Linda McCartney from Wings. Let's have a look at it. Over to Paul McCartney. First of all, uh, you actually started on recording a new album. Yeah. And you've been going, what, for four days or something? Yeah. Yeah, we're in the back room of, if you went through there, that's the studio yeah. we've been in. And yeah, we just put down some backing tracks for a new album. I do it is uh, I think of it in my mind and think of this kind of way I'd like it to be and then tell everyone that and then if we kind of do this thing of kicking it around a bit and some little things will start to suggest themselves because of a style someone else is playing that I wouldn't have thought of yeah. and that sort of gets included you know all the good ideas we keep and we'll, we'll change a thing in the course of recording it yeah. from my original idea but uh, Hopefully for the better, you know, something I just didn't think of. Right. And what about you as a solo effort again? Uh, I've done a few songs, actually. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't quite know what I'll do with them yet. Yeah. Release them? I might release them in uh, 1893. Now, there is a surprise artist called Susie with a group, The Red Stripes, Susie and the Red Stripes. It sounds remarkably like Linda. Are you having me on? And no, no, really. But, um, I mean, if Linda does any stuff, uh, we kind of thought that uh, she doesn't really want to release it under her own name, because then people sort of say, oh, you know, look, she's getting flash, you know, look what she's really trying to do. But uh, she's had a bunch of songs, so she's going to release some of them under a name which will be very like Susie and the Red Stripes. Uh. But it's not her, <laughs> is it, folks? In fact, there's a song called Seaside <coughs> Woman you might hear sometime. Yeah. So if you ever hear it by Susie and the Red Stripes, I can say I told you so. Well, since you've been last down, uh, Speed of Sound has been a, a monster. Now the double album, uh, Wings Over America. You must have been really happy about the live sound that came out of that album. No, we hated it. You hated it. it I terrible. loved it. He hated it. I see. <laughs> well, what, what, what didn't you like about it then? No, I'm only kidding you. Ian. I see. I would. I kid you not. I liked it actually. It was all right. Yeah. And you've just seen the, I believe, the, the main rushes of the film or the film sort mm. of itself. Yeah. And when do you think that could be sort of out on the world market? Next Friday, I think. <laughs> <laughs> if we hurry it a bit, it could be. Failing that, Christmas. Yeah. Um, any chance of coming down to uh, the land of Oz again? Yeah, yeah we're thinking definitely. about it. You know. uh, what we're doing this year, though, is we're kind of taking it a little bit easier because we're pregnant. Yeah. I'm pregnant too, you know, and I've got to, I've got to take it easy. <laughs> but. Uh, so we're not. We're going to mainly get into songs and stuff this year, and kind of change the act around and stuff yeah. that we'd be playing. And ch and uh, so by the time we come back to Australia, we should have a whole new thing, you know. And so we're going to mainly record this year, but we might see you there in 1978. Right. The whole country is fabulous. The animals, the koala bears. Well, I, in I know. fact, we're thinking of trying to get them back in the Commonwealth. What, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, listen, I know I can say for thousands of Australians, we do look forward to the new album because uh, I'm in like a top stand in our country. Great. And hello, well, Norman Gunston. <laughs> and goodbye, Ian Melvin. <laughs> <laughs>